Hello, friends, and welcome to Coffee and Conversation. Hope coming from the Gordon Avenue Baptist Church in Adel, Georgia. Friend, there's no better place to find true hope than in the precious Word of God. I mean, we find hope there. So let me invite you to pick up your copy of God's Holy and Precious Word and turn with me over to the book of Isaiah, chapter 43. We've been looking at verses 1 through 7. Today, we will finish our uh, thought, uh, enjoying your salvation, by looking at verse number 7. Get that good cup of hot coffee, and let's sit together, have an encounter with God and His precious Word on this beautiful day. Well, goodness. No better way to get a brand new day started than a good fresh cup of hot coffee. But more important than the coffee is getting in tune and in touch with God. Let's look at Isaiah 43, verse 7 for just a moment. Isaiah 43, verse 7. The Bible says here, Even everyone that is called by my name, for I have created him for my glory, I have formed him, yea, I have made him. And friends, I pray that God would add his blessings to the reading of his holy and precious word today. You know, when you go out into the world, uh, it's kind of hard to uh, comprehend people's thoughts right now because everybody, well, not everybody, but most everybody in our area continues to wear a face mask. And uh, I'm not here to criticize uh, face masks, whether you wear one or whether you don't. I do wear one because I've had COVID. But uh, friends, uh, whenever I get to thinking about what's going on in our world today, it would appear to me that many, uh, they've lost the joy of salvation. And uh, they're just living in a rut. And you know what a rut is. They say a rut is a grave with both ends kicked out. Far too many of us children of God lack the shine of joy on our faces. We allow life's troubles and other people's uh, insensitivity and uh, personal misunderstanding to hinder our joy. But friend, the joy of the Lord is our strength. And so I've been talking to you about how to enjoy your salvation, enjoying your salvation. Well, the first day we looked at our past, and we all got one. Now, there's a lot of people that don't think that they have one, but we all have a past. And if we dwell on our past and what we were before we got saved by the grace of God, then, friend, we'll never have any joy. But you see, God has provided redemption. He's given to us renewal. And he's, because he's given to us redemption and renewal, he's preparing a place for us in heaven. And then yesterday, we looked at the provider of it all, and we talked about how God reminds us that since he saved us, that, uh, friend, he's uh, blessed us with uh, all blessings. How does he do it? Well, he's able because he's God. He's willing because he's God. He's faithful to his word, and he's always near. He'll never leave you, nor will he ever forsake you. The last thing that I want us to see in this thought, enjoying your salvation, is God's promise. God reminds his people that they have a bright future. Now, I know some of you are probably looking at uh, our future in the here and now. But, friend, we've got a bright future. He promises to gather all of us together and to bring us to our promised land. You see, my friend, we too live under the hope of a promise. One day soon, there's going to be a gathering. In 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verses 13 through 18, the Bible teaches us here that Jesus will return in the clouds and receive his people unto himself. Friend, one day soon he's going to come again. And if we look at the signs of the times, it would appear that he could come at any given moment. 
But one day soon, he's going to come again, and his people will be leaving this old world of sorrow to spend an eternity with him. Now, what do you need to do? Well, first of all, you need to be ready. Friend, how, do, how can you be ready? Well, you get, if you don't know him, you need to get to know him. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. So you need to be ready. Secondly, you need to be looking. Friend, I've been looking for 40 years, and I'll continue to look. Well, actually, I've been looking longer than that. Uh, my goodness, I've uh, been, been saved uh, over 50 years. And uh, so be looking, be looking for Jesus to come. Thirdly, be pure. Friend, a pure life uh, is satisfaction to God. Live godly in Christ Jesus. Be pure. And then fourthly, be telling. Tell the world they better get ready because Jesus is coming soon. Verse 7 of our text reminds us that God's purpose in the creation of man and again in his redemption is to bring glory to himself. Too many people are trying to bring glory to themselves. Friend, we need to bring glory to God. Why should we bring glory to God? Well, we, because we're heaven bound. Rejoice in that. Because we're going to be glorified. Rejoice in that. Because we'll see him and be with the Lord Jesus forever. Rejoice in that. My friend, are you ready for this promise to become a reality? Now, as I bring this series of devotional studies to a close, what have we learned? God saved us from our past. God provides us for our present. And God has a beautiful plan for our future. So what can I say to you? Bless God, enjoy your salvation, and rejoice, and let the world see that you are truly saved by his marvelous grace. Pray with me. Father, I thank you for these beautiful messages of devotion that reminds us that uh, you want us to enjoy your salvation in our lives. David lost that joy, and he prayed, Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation. He didn't lose salvation, but he, he lost his joy. Too many of us are losing joy because we're focused on a pandemic and a plague. Too many of us are losing joy because we're looking at uh, big dollar figures. Too many of us are losing joy because we're so wrapped up in the tangible items of this life. Too many of us are losing joy because we've lost focus of you. God, restore unto us the joy of thy salvation, that we can enjoy life. You said, O oh God, through Christ Jesus our Lord, that you come to give us life and life more abundantly. Help us accept that abundant life and live it to its fullest. And then when the time comes for the promise to be fulfilled, give us that home in heaven that you're preparing. And we'll give you thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, God bless you, my friend. I do pray that uh, the words that we've shared has been a blessing to you today. And... Uh, just enjoy your salvation. There's nothing like having salvation from God. How great it is. And uh, let the world see it on your demeanor. Smile. Well, preacher, they want nobody to see my face. I got a mask on. Well, that's okay. They can see it in your eyes. Amen. Smile. Enjoy your salvation. Share the glory of God and the Christ with, uh, that you love with others. Uh, your life can be the only Bible that some will ever read. So let others see and hear Jesus in all you say and in all that you do. God bless you. Remember, your life's the only Bible some will see. So let them see Jesus. Have a great day.